Hello and welcome to my channel. Always built a bird, like always, I've been here before. Welcome back. So today I have fallen from grace and I've done the very thing I swore never to do again. Uh, I'm playing the Cauldron Familiar Witches Ovens combo, sort of, but don't judge me yet. Um, we had made so the deck is a Loris deck, obviously Loris graveyard deck. Um, again, the way I'm making the deck list is I'm going to put Loris in the sideboard um, because Etherhub still hasn't fixed Companion. Um, so it's going to be in the sideboard, but if you decide to download and import the deck, uh, just make sure, grab it from your sideboard and put it into your um, into the uh, Companion slot. Uh, so uh, it fits in there. Cauldron and Witch's Oven unfortunately just fit in there, so we played it. Uh... The first game, just to kind of give a heads up with it, first game was a super quick, we just won. Uh, the second game, we won with Cauldron's Familiar, but it took like 13 minutes and it was actually a really good game. So the second game was that probably my favorite game. Um, the third and fourth game, we actually just won with the Cauldron's Familiar. And then the fifth game, we actually won using like, um, using uh, like other methods such as like the priest of forgotten gods and call the death dweller and all that so the second game and the last game are definitely my favorite um because the second game it was kind of like they they had a board of four four creatures and but we had some death touch we had uh ways of just blocking and not taking damage and stuff like that and then sacking and doing all this stuff so the second game was actually really good and the last game was just fun so um yeah so Loris, what does it do? So, companion, each permanent card in your starting deck has converted amount of cost two or less. Uh, we have that. And then during each of your turns, you may cast one permanent spell with converted amount of cost two or less from your graveyard. So, as we're sacking stuff, as stuff is dying, it's coming back. And also, I just want to throw out uh, last night's stream. Uh, Emerald Boar actually wanted to make a Loris deck. So, we did. And it was fun. It was clunky. And this is kind of like a redone version of it. And for those of you following along at home with the keen eye, you'll notice that this is a glow spore shaman on the deck box. That's because I actually originally had it as Jund, then I it was not good, so I changed it to like black, white, uh, green, still not good, and then I settled on Orzov. So, but thank you, uh, Emerald Boar, for coming up with this. Well, for giving me the idea to play a Loris deck. Um, all right, so. Almost everything we have, either when it comes in or when it dies, it'll do something. So the whole idea is to just sack stuff and get stuff killed. So we've got the Hunted Witness. When it dies, we create a 1-1 one, one Soldier with Lifelink. Eh, Cauldron Familiar, Witch's Oven. We'll just get that out of the way now. Um, gutter Bones. So it enters the battlefield tap, but for two, we can return it to our hand. Uh, only if the opponent has lost, um, lost life that turn. So uh, Serrated Scorpion. When it dies, it deals two damage to each opponent. We gain two life. Orzhov Enforcer, when it dies, it's got Afterlife 1. Uh, Priest of Forgotten Gods, probably my favorite card in this deck. It's uh, tap to sack two other creatures. Any number of target players each lose two life and sack a creature. We add two, uh, We add black, black, and then draw a card. Also, what was really cool about that second game was they had a Teo out. Uh, so they had um, Hexproof. So we couldn't Priest of Forgotten Gods them. We were Priest of Forgotten Gods us just to sack stuff. and It was a good game. Go. Um, the first game is only like a minute, so you can bear through it. <laughs> but the second game was really fun, and this, so was the last game. Uh, Cruel Celebrant. So basically, whenever it or another creature or planeswalker we control dies, they lose one, we gain one. So as we're sacking stuff, as stuff is dying, uh, all that good junk, uh, we lose one and gain one. So Fiend Artisan. This is probably the card that I like the least. It is a very powerful card. But I never got it to work, and I would say this is four mythics in the deck. If you don't have four of these, uh, play Corpse Knight instead. Uh, I think Corpse Knight uh, fits perfectly, replaces this great, and Corpse Knight says that whenever something enters the battlefield under our control, um, each opponent loses one life. So as we're bringing stuff back, it's dealing damage. As we're getting rid of it, uh, crew celebrants dealing damage but this is in the deck so uh, it gets plus one plus one for each creature in our graveyard um and then for x and a black green hybrid we can tap it to sack another creature search your library for converted a uh, creature with converted amount of cost x or less put it on their battlefield shuffle your library do it as a sorcery um i i don't know because like in this deck all we're really going to grab is like 
maybe a two cost creature. I mean, we can do it on like, let's say a hunted witness and get another cool celebrant. I just never got it to work this game. So if you don't have four mythics, uh, four corpse knights work amazingly well as well. Uh, Heartless Act, uh, we can choose one. Destroy a creature with no counters on it or remove up to three counters from target creature. And then Call of the Death Dweller. Return up to two target creature cards with total converted mana cost three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Put a death uh, put death touch on one, put menace on on, on one as well. Uh, you can put them both on the same one if you want, but and then just a whole bunch of lands. Uh, like a deck list is in the description below. It's an Ether Hub link. If you decide to click on that and purchase any of the cards in real life, I'll get a little commission. So I super appreciate that. As well as if you decide to buy anything on either TCG Player or um, Ether Hub, uh, if you use the code Always Bolt the Bird, uh, one word, uh, I'll also get a commission. So I super appreciate that. Um, but yeah, this was a fun deck. Unfortunately, also, if you want, swap out, like, Cauldron Familiar with, like, leave in Fiend Artisan, swap out the Cauldron Familiar for four Corpse Knights, and it's still gonna be a great deck, and you won't be, uh, like me, and be the butthead that's playing, um, the stupid, uh, the stupid, uh, <laughs> combo. Um, alright, so... Uh, if you like this deck, you want to see more, hit the like button, subscribe, tap the bell icon, do all that good stuff. If you have any ideas for a deck, leave it in the description below or jump on my Discord, link in the description, um, and leave it on Discord. Uh, I love going through all y'all's decks and uh, playing them, making videos. I mean, like I said, this was Emerald Boar from uh, the live stream last night. This is not exactly a, um, a, well, it's not his deck. It's not the deck that we made, but... It was his idea to play this deck, so. Uh, I'm rambling again. No more talking. Straight to the games. All right. Frutasmita Banzai. Um, yeah, we'll keep it. All right, so. Do, 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 do. Oh, we're just playing another Loris deck. All right. <laughs> Well, let's see who gets there first. Uh, pass a turn. Uh, pass. My turn? Are they just playing mono white? Interesting. Uh, let's see. I mean, it's not interesting. Mono White Loris is a pretty decent... Because um, you can have, like... Uh, if you're going life gain, you get, like... The Healer Hawk. Um, the Concession. Stuff like that. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess Mono White Loris is not bad. But, uh, hey, we beat the L Loris deck, I guess. <laughs> we'll see. If I get a bunch of wins, this won't be in the video mm, but if you just listen to that then it's in the video so we'll see all right sun ang uh sun ang sun ang we'll keep it uh let's just temple of silence hmm no uh don't necessarily Want that card yet. Uh, we do, however, want this card. Alright. <clears throat> so. Alright. Pelt Collector. Oh. Alright, well... Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure they're going to concede. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I got two ovens and a cauldron familiar. Unfortunately. Uh, here comes the concession. Especially if we get another land. Alright, well, let's see. 
And we got another land. All right, you, you, you. Um, pass the turn. Ugh. I've become the very thing I swore to destroy. I said I hate this combo and I'd never play it again. Um, but it's just so good with Loris. Uh, well, let's see what they do. I mean, I, I guess in all fairness, I'm not at all whatsoever... Um, winning this game, guaranteed. Um, they could just go Stompy. I don't think they are. I think they're just going to rope us, unfortunately. Oh, well. Oh, wait, no. We're back. Uh, they have sh they have Hexproof. And they're going to create some shields. Interesting. Talk to the wall. <laughs> Talk to the wall. Uh, pass to attackers. I mean, I, I, I guess we just do this. Right? Like... Um, yeah, we don't have to target them. All right, submit one and then my turn. Um, I'm very sorry. Uh, Priest of Forgotten Gods. Oh, wait, no, cancel. Priest of Forgotten Gods does not work anymore. All right, well, I'm getting this. Alright, pass a turn. I forgot, Priest of Forgotten Gods does not have, um... Uh, well, no, it has, but they have X-proof, so... Uh, create a 3-3 beast, alright, fair enough. Every mutation displays nature's ingenuity. I mean, we get to block two things... ...and deal four da- <laughs> we we get to block two things, take no damage, and like you to meet my deal Don't. four damage because of it. So, yeah. All right, pass two attackers. Let's see if they attack in. Mm, yeah, I guess we just do this. So, mid one... Uh, at least I've gotten better at clicking on this. <laughs> like, before it used to take so long. Alright, um, my turn. Alright, Orzhov Enforcer, pass the turn. Um, actually, there may be a reason to... All right, so Resolve Ball, it gets to fight something. So let's see what they actually fight. Uh, well, they're getting something as well, so. Let's see what they get. <laughs> All right, let's see what they get. What do we get, opponent? Actually, we can do six damage. I think we might just be able to win. Uh, Voracious Hydra. Uh, that sucks. That, that, that sucks that that's what they got. All right, what are you going to fight, though? Um... Okay, resolve. If 
we get another land, we can play it this turn. If not, we can't, but... Uh, pass two attackers. Now it doesn't make sense to Priest of Forgotten Gods my own creatures. Uh, well, I mean, Death Touch is a pretty good deterrent. All right, submit one. And that happens, and we'll do it again. All right, let's see if we get another land. Oh, we got another land. Nifty. All right, pass the turn. Um. Yep. Puts a beast. Uh, trample. Okay. Can we deal 11 damage in two turns? I think so. Two, four, five, six, and then we can do it again. Because this will deal damage, that will deal damage, this will deal damage, that will deal damage. Do this for two damage, so that's six, and then we do it again on the afterlife ones that it makes. So actually... Uh, yeah, resolve. I think, uh, uh, I think this is good. <clears throat> Unless you destroy that. Uh, that sucks. All right, fine. Uh <sighs> Alright, so, yes. Submit one. Nope. Sacrifice two creatures. Uh, sacrifice a creature. This would have been so much better if they didn't gain all that stupid life. <laughs> like, oh yeah, resolve, resolve. I have mana, so uh, submit one. We got to click a lot. Yeah, resolve, resolve. Resolve, resolve. Submit one. Resolve my turn. Um, one. Oh, totally my. All right, well, whatever. It's better than. And then we can play this one anyway. Um, Priest of Forgotten Gods. Target me, yes. Submit one, one, two, submit two. Um, sacrifice another creature. We would have 100% had this one, but unfortunately, um, enters tapped. All right, pass the turn. Uh, let's see what they draw. Yep. Every day is a new mutation. Let's see. What are they coming in with? 9, 13, 
16, 17, uh, 12, 16, 21, 28. Uh, I, I, I meant 27. All right, so we can pass the blockers anyway. This doesn't have trample. Oh, actually, that does have trample. Um, this doesn't have trample. Block. Uh, totally forgot to do that whole thing in which I get to play them again. Oopsies. Um, it's all right. Uh, you can still do it this way. This still does damage. And we can still do this. And I think finally we got there. Uh, I definitely played it incorrectly, unfortunately. Um, we'll do this anyway. And I think we got it. Yep. Uh, submit one. Do this. Target me. Yes. Submit one. One, two. Submit two. And do all that good stuff. Cool. We win. Um. Okay. <laughs> it's a long game. 14 minutes. Yeah. Um, long game, but we finally got there. Uh, cool. We win. All right, Black Widow. I am very excited to see your movie, so let's see what happens here. Uh, well, we have an okay-ish hand. We're playing against Demir, so I'm going to assume turn two thought erasure. <laughs> like, um... That's just what I'm going to assume. Did I assume right? Hmm, okay. Unfortunately... Uh, Alright, let's just do, I guess, this and this. I just said, unfortunately, we didn't get another land. Uh, Dread Horde Invasion. Alright, fair enough. It's like half a land. Uh, we're definitely getting black. Alright, pass the turn. And we win. <sighs> they must not have drawn land, I guess, maybe. All right, fair enough. Or I guess they just saw that and they were like, oh, all we have is a mass and it's just gonna make me keep sacking it. All right, fair enough, we win. All right, Madara. Let's, uh, let's see what happens. All right, well, I don't hate it. Uh, all right, let's just do this and this. Um, next turn, I think we're gonna play this. Oh, I'm sorry, opponent. <laughs> yep, pass the turn. Uh, Bertha Miletus, all right, fair enough. All right, so we'll just start this, I guess. Mm. 
You know what? Let's pay two life. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's attack. And let's end turn. Uh, I'm going to stop playing stuff. Actually, I should have held on to the Fiend Artisan. They're definitely going to have a Shadow of the Sky. I should have probably held on to the Fiend Artisan. Mm, Omen of the Sea. Alright, resolve. Mm, pass through attackers. Let's not forget to do this. Alright, yeah, we win. Uh, it's unfortunate. Ugh. I become the very thing I swore to protect. Uh, swore to destroy. Did not want to play this combo again, but it's just so good with Loris. Alright, fair enough. We win. Kimirzi. Oh, God. Kimirzi. Alright, well. We'll keep it. Edge, yeah, uh, I can't say it. We're just gonna call him Kamirzi. Come on, uh, call him Kamirzi. All right, well, let's just do this. Nope, I already have one in my hand. So maybe Cruel Celebrant? Uh oh. All right, um. Yeah, we'll just start with the cool celibate train. And then we got a swamp. So we can do priest and hunted. Maybe even heartless, depending on what they play. Hopefully they don't play something that they could... Oh, sweet. Alright, so heartless. Um... All attack. Mm, what are we playing? Okay. Crystal, they got something for two, I guess? Wonder if they're actually playing white. Mm, all right, so oh, let's just do these. I really wish I would get another cool celebrant. Like that would be really good. Next turn, I could just play this and use priest of forgotten gods. Make that happen. Fabled Passage. They are actually playing white. I just noticed that they played a planes. I didn't catch that before. Uh, okay. Now they can play that. Give it Hexproof. And sort of be out of mana. Alright, so. Hunted Witness. Um, target you? Uh, yes, a lot of stuff is going to happen. Afterlife 1, that, we get to draw a card, and add black, black. Um. Hmm. That happens? Yay, we finally got a game in which it's not just a stupid cat game. Uh, put a death touch on you, I guess. And a menace on you. Uh, Temple of Silence. Mm, no. I'm gonna hold off. Next. Just in case they have, like, a Shatter the Sky... Which, I mean, a Shadow of the Sky would be kind of really mean to... Y you know what? I have another one in my hand. I'm being greedy. 
<laughs> yeah, we win. That's that's the way we're supposed to win. That's the way I really want to win. Um, cool. Well, at least we finally got a uh, a good game. Uh, as our last game. Uh, I had a lot of fun playing that deck. Uh, I'm very sorry. Uh, I apologize for becoming the very thing I swore uh, to destroy. Um, but I, we played the cat combo again, but at least we got a non-cat win. Am I redeemed? I, I, I'm going to say no. Uh, you're totally allowed to not redeem me for that. So, <sighs> all right, well, <laughs> I had fun playing the deck. Uh, it's, it's a good deck. Um, like I said, the only thing I would think about maybe is like Corpse Knight. Um, right? I, do, I want to just make sure that I'm not... Yeah, because Corpse Knight is white-black. So um, the only thing that I would say is maybe Corpse Knight instead of the uh, Fiend Artisan because... I've never gotten that to work, so yeah, Corpse Knight would probably be good because as they come in and as they uh, they die, it would do double. So yeah, okay. Um, so yeah, stay inside, stay healthy, uh, stay safe, stay awesome, stay amazing. We'll see you in the next video.